As the robot moves around, the Tokotsu framework keeps track of its position. This estimation of robot motion is called odometry. Many Tokotsu robots are built on top of the iRobot Create base, and it is this base that the framework traditionally communicates with to obtain odometry information. However, sometimes the readings from the base are inaccurate. To account for this, Tokotsu also uses vision to estimate its rotation. To do this, Tokotsu uses a concept called optical flow, computed using a variant on the Lucas Kanade method. Optical flow is the apparent motion of features between camera frames. Here you can see that the flow vectors tend to demonstrate the motion of the duck as it moves across the camera's field of view. Here is an actual video feed from a robot. As the robot rotates, notice that the horizontal component of the flow vectors tend to remain relatively uniform. Tokotsu uses the median horizontal component to compute how much the robot rotated between camera frames. Tokotsu is smart about how it selects features it decides to track. It tends to track image patches that contain a lot of information, like the ones highlighted here in green. On the other hand, it tends to ignore image patches that are uniform, like the ones highlighted here in red. Now imagine we then rotated the camera. The black dots represent the previous location of the image patches. Applying the Lucas Kanade algorithm, we can get vectors representing the motion of these features. Tokotsu calculates around 50 of these flow vectors 10 times a second. Let's see this odometry in action. Here, a Calliope 2SP robot is following a preset path as outlined by the red tape dots. In the top right corner, you see a trace representing the path the robot thinks it's been taking as communicated by the odometry system. By combining visual odometry for rotation and the odometry information gathered from the create base, we achieve motion estimation that is more accurate than using either method alone.